Brats, if you've been watching the channel a while, you know that I really love my Bobo VR F2 fan. It helps draw air out of the face mask, pushes that away from you, and helps keep your lenses from fogging. KK Cobb VR has come up with a similar solution that works a little differently. Let's check it out. $49 is what this is gonna cost you. You got a manual and some sort of strap and a very big, very white facial interface. Actually it looks pretty cool. I like the look of it there. Feels good on my face. A lot of times the way my face is shaped, I don't get a lot of even pressure on the sides out here and it's actually pushing there. Ooh, it advertises that it is purposely sweat absorbent. So you can take this off and then clean it after, but that is like, that feels like a soft sweater. It is very clothy and it would soak up sweat like crazy. Some people like that because that doesn't drip down your face. Yeah, some people would hate that. And if you can't tell what this is, it's got a fan, but it's got a big one up top and it works differently. It pulls air in and blows it through to keep your lenses from fogging and help keep you cool. I do worry about dry eyes with that. Let's get this thing installed and see what it looks like. One thing I gotta say right off the bat, I will test it, but I don't think this thing is gonna work well if you have a halo strap, because this thing is huge. It even advertises that it's meant to redistribute the weight across your forehead to make headsets and straps more comfortable. I kind of like the white. I think it looks kind of clean instead of the black on there. Two different modes. It's got game mode is what it calls it and movie mode or chat mode. Game mode constantly blows air on your face. Two and a half to three hours on one charge. You're gonna charge it right there with a little USB-C port. Movie mode runs for five seconds at a time and blows air for five seconds and then stops. Now, unlike the Bobo VR, it's only got one button Button. So I imagine it is going to go into one mode and then I press it again to go into the other mode. Well, you really feel the air because unlike the Bobo VR, it's a very mild feeling because it's pulling the air out. This one is blowing it in. It's blowing it directly on my forehead though. It's not really getting me in the eyes at the moment, but I definitely worry if you have contacts, it might dry your eyes out a bit. That pad is so squishy and soft though. It is noisy. You're going to notice that. So one click turned it on. That must be in game mode. I've clicked it again and now it's in movie mode. So it stopped. That is kind of nice that it stops for a little bit, but you will notice, unless you have your volume up really loud, you're gonna notice every time that turns on and off. That's a little bit distracting. Yeah, I definitely would not rock it in movie mode. It would be game mode only, which is a sad thing, I feel like, because I like that the Bobo VR, it has two modes, but one is quieter. It's real quiet, actually. And then the second mode is a little louder and more noticeable. This one, you only get basically high level. It's either high all the time or high off and on. So it's kind of noticeable and distracting. The facial interface itself is nice, though. It's comfortable. I think it looks nice on there. And it fits well on an Elite strap. It really looks beefy and different on there. I feel like it kind of matches the M1 Pro because you got this big battery here. And now you got this big fan up here. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's see if it can fit on a halo strap at all. Whew. Dear God. Once it's been on once. <laughs> wow. Whew. It's not easy to take back off. With some doing, we've got it in there. I did have to put the halo forehead portion way back. So let's see if that feels right at all. It's definitely going to mess with how you use a halo strap if you do, if you try to use this. Because now what's happened is I have all this part pushing on my forehead. This part is up in my hair now instead of on my forehead like it usually is. And then these parts are back on the very tippy top of my head. And it's causing me to drop the back end really low in the back. I will say though, it almost is a little more comfortable. The problem with the M2 Pro, at least, this may not be every halo strap. I want to tip my lenses up a little bit more and I feel like it would be just right. And there's just almost no way. So it just keeps coming up against this part. And I just right now, I feel like, okay, I want my lenses right there. And I let go and this pushes it down a little bit. So at least with the M2 Pro Halo, I really don't think this is gonna work. Let me try it with another Halo strap though. That did a very weird thing to my M2 Pro. Look at how it looks right now compared to normal. Cause normally this is way up here and this is way down here. So it definitely got into a very weird position. We just got this new Atacop Halo strap. I wish every facial interface went in with the solidity that this one goes in. You get that thing snapped in there, you feel like this isn't going anywhere. I do like that about it. The Atacop looks to be a little bit better of a fit. Still feels a little weird. Something about the way it has caused me to tweak the entire Atacop strap. I'm finding the strap is wanting to slide up in the back more than it did before. Something to do with this new shape. So it doesn't continue to slide till it's gonna fall off, but it definitely, it feels like I've got a lot going on in my head now. It almost feels like I'm wearing a helmet. Like there's only a little spot 
here and there that isn't being touched right now. Well, last test, I've got to go play some games with this one, get sweaty, let it run, see if my eyes dry out. This one's gonna require a little more extensive testing. So honestly, I'm probably gonna put it on the Kiwi Elite strap. I think this would be the best fit for. I'll probably try it with that and go play some sweaty games and get back to you here in a little bit. After an entire week of sweaty play sessions, Beat Saber, Supernatural, Pistol Whip, trying a bunch of different games, playing this a bunch of different ways, I think we're ready for some final thoughts on this K-Cobb fan facial interface. The good, it does its job. I could not get this thing to fog up. Even in moments where my Bobo VR might have started to fail me a little bit, this thing absolutely did not. The fan is so powerful. It's blowing so hard. It also does keep you really cool. I had Nat put it on and try. I didn't even tell her it was a different facial interface. I just put it on. She was like, this feels different. And she's like, this fan is blowing really hard today. And I was like, yeah, it blows directly in your face. You notice it. We weren't certain about the lights last time. So basically, if you're charging it, the light blinks white. If it's fully charged, it looks like it just goes to a solid white. So there is not any color changes, anything in there to let you know if your battery is getting low or anything. The worst part about it is this padding. This padding does exactly what it says it's gonna do and it soaks up sweat. I mean, you could take this thing off and you could wring the sweat out. The thing that worries me about that, they say it's washable, it's cleanable. Yes, but there's like a hard layer in here where it attaches. I feel like that's gonna start to break down if you wash it too much. But this part just feels like a fuzzy blanket. It almost kind of feels like fleece, but it really absorbs the sweat. Because because the facial interface is such a different shape than any other though, you couldn't necessarily just swap out if you had an extra pad from another one. It's too different of a shape. It's too big up here compared to a usual facial interface. So like this Kiwi pad, if I tried to swap it on here, I would end up with a big gap up top right there. And it could still work. So let's say I really like this interface, but I want something with pleather instead. And I happen to have a pleather pad. I could put this on here, but you'd be losing a lot of surface area up top. So really, unless they start offering one that comes with it, you're kind of stuck with this cloth one. Some people, unlike me, like cloth. It keeps the sweat out of your eyes. The sweat that drips down gets caught by this. And then with this blowing on your forehead, you're not really getting sweat in your eyes. So if that's a problem for you, this could be a solution. 50 bucks is not a low price, but it does feel like a very quality piece of material. The plastic feels good. The color matches the Quest 2 nice. The nose guard feels real good on your nose. It's just this padding that I'm not in love with. It feels a little scratchy to my skin. Nat didn't think so at all, but then it just soaks up sweat and oil. This thing does not work well with any halo strap that I tried it on. The problem is the facial interface is so much taller, as you can see right here, that it'll push this up and then it'll make your lenses feel like they're kind of like turned down too far. And you can't tip it up because this will be pushing on your halo strap. Elite straps, stock head strap, any of those is going to work with any sort of halo. I found it just didn't work right for me. I would consider using this as my full-time exercise headset only facial interface if I was not a contacts wearer. Wearing contacts, your eyes are already kind of prone to dryness. And with the wind blowing on your face instead of being pulled out like the Bobo VR, your eyes will get dry. If you're a glasses wearer, or if you don't wear contacts at all and you don't seem to have any issue with dry eyes, this could be good. I would be cautious about using this for hours on end. For a little while at a time, it's okay to have wind, but you might want to consult your optometrist because blowing air on your eyes, you might actually start to develop dry eye. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying that might be something to be cautious about. I don't think I will be personally using it just because of my contacts. Like I said, it's it gets too dry too quick and I'm worried about my eyes. For those of you out there who think, okay, that sounds good, it's exactly what I want, I will leave a link in the description for you because it does its job and it does it good. It's almost like, feels like you have a fan blowing on your face while you're playing the game. Let me know what you think out there. This is new, there's been a lot of, a lot of questions about it coming from you who have seen it kind of sitting around in other videos and stuff. So if anyone out there has one, I'd love to know, or are you going to get one, try it out, get it on Amazon Prime so you can always return it if you don't want it. But thank you for hanging out here with us today. I will see you in another reality. Done. Noise, noise.